Paul is not going to be back this season. And that's okay. And I understand you can make as many jokes as you want. I do expect them to win eight to nine games way better than five and seven and losing to Kansas. But here's the thing with Texas football, and I think it's really interesting this upcoming year because we talk about how Jimbo Fisher and a lot of their rivals have a ton of pressure. I don't think Oklahoma has a lot of expectations just because they have a new coach, a new quarterback, a lot of drama. So if they were to have a down year this year, I don't think a lot of people would be surprised. Baylor has a lot of expectations with them, even though they've kind of flown under the radar. TCU and SMU, I believe, both have new head coaches. I, I'm thinking of just guys that are around the southern area, specifically with Texas. U of H has to prepare itself for the Big 12. But here's the thing. I think there's a lot of pressure with Texas. Obviously, it's one of the biggest brands, if not the biggest college football brand in all of America. You look at them Longhorns and you know exactly which team I'm talking about. But here's the thing with Texas right now. I think because Arch Manning committed, there is even more pressure on this team because he's not officially on the roster until December. And what if Texas flames out? I don't think Arch is going to decommit. He is not a normal recruit. Let's look at his entire timeline when it came to his recruitment. The guy barely let anyone on his Instagram. He just made a Twitter. He was very private and reserved. It was about the relationship of his family with the staff. And you know who made a big jump with that? Was Texas. They they went all in for him. And I see the Mannings knew that. They they wanted that to happen. A a team to go all in on their nephew. And whether you like it or not, the Manning name helps. I am one of the idea that Arch is a great quarterback. Elite talent, great touch, uh, fantastic arm strength, but he's not a gunslinger as of right now. From what we have seen on high school tape, and I think the reason why he gets the number one rating in the, the recruitment that he did, as much as we want to talk about the Manning name, as and it does help. I'm not naive in saying that, and if you deny it, you're just wrong. If his last name was not Manning, I don't think he would have the level of magnification on him. But here we are. It's the reality. But it's an investment, I feel. I I feel like this entire recruitment of him is... I don't think he starts day one. I think Arch Manning is a guy that you see the tools and he has fantastic pieces around him. He's much more mobile than his uncles. And I think that he has the same level of arm strength and touch. And he has been around football his entire life. And he clearly cares about it. And he, he seems like he's having fun with it. And I feel like Texas saw that investment, knew they had Quinn Ewers. Hudson Card is also a guy. And not to mention Malik Murphy is another four-star quarterback on this roster. They see that they can have some time. And I'm sure they have talked with Arch and have a plan for him they wouldn't want to go all in for this guy not just because it's arch manning but they feel that this guy has the talent to potentially bring a championship to austin as much as it's crazy to say there hasn't been a manning to win a national championship but a lot of super bowls and either way this brings more attention to a university that really when you look into it has wasted talent over the past couple years Not saying that their rivals are perfect either but texas for the longest time had a lot of recruitment prowess and they still do that even when they lose they went five and seven last year and they got the fifth overall recruiting class and no one bats an eye at that because they also have deep pockets for nil abilities i mean we see Bijan robinson have a lambo there's so many other like quinn ewers had a Fortnite nil deal i mean shout out to these guys i'm not sitting here complaining and I want to also look at Arch Manning has brought in guys like Jonte Cook, Derek Williams. Derek Williams is a five-star safety that I love his film. He is fantastic. He's going to be a great safety. And what's crazy about this is, honestly, Texas just needs to get their defense together. And I think Sark might as well just basically run the offensive coordinator position full-time. I don't know. I that, that that's, might be me being a little out of pocket. But I, I think going back to the pressure point of this is like this entire – university had potent there's there's rumblings of a, a hot seat for sark after the last season what if they do not perform is it what is it an acceptable record if they go seven and five do you start to look at sark because then here's the thing you tear everything down i don't think arch stays if sark gets fired they, this is his entire recruitment was based off of relationships with the staff and then you lose that staff and after that, the rest of the class would fall fall apart. So there's pressure to perform, obviously, to do better than last year and make a bowl game. But I feel like they have to exceed expectations to continue to have the rest of this recruitment class buy in. Because by the time they get to the SEC, it's time to build that defense up. 
And they're going to need to show that they can have an offense that can actually turn those stops into points. I don't know. It's it's something I wanted to talk about. Um, if you, By the way, if you get hurt that I say that Arch Manning isn't the number one rated player in my opinion, it's I, I'm not mad at it. Like I think there's plenty of talent with him. But like here's the thing. I think that there's guys that have played at a higher level against better competition. And they have just about the same tools. Uh, like I'm looking at Malachi Nelson. He, he's a he's a fantastic quarterback. But um, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to talk about like a little like Texas preview. Like the pressure is on with this team. It truly is. Uh, I'm about to get my conference predictions out, and I'm gonna start doing my NFC one as well for the NFL. Um, I just wanted to get a quick video out real quick for you guys, basically. You know, I, I think Texas is going to be good. I think Texas actually could surprise some teams. I might do a Big 12 prediction video first. Let me know if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and thank you. Go have a great day. Bye.